Good morning, everyone. Today we celebrate what is arguably one of the best saints in the entirety of the church, St. Andrew the Apostle, for obvious reasons. In another gospel, St. Andrew is depicted as what we call the first apostle because he's going out looking for the Christ, not knowing who it is yet, comes across John. And John, being John, points him to Christ. He's like, actually, that's him walking right there, coincidentally. And so Andrew, St. Andrew follows Christ, gets to know him, learns all about him, and then immediately goes home and tells his brother, Peter, and brings him to Christ and introduces them. Today is a good reminder about our duty and our obligation to tell others about Christ and bring them to him. Oftentimes, I get complaints from people like, Father, like, you know, like, we need more people going out and like making, making apostles, making disciples, bringing people to Christ, bringing people to the church. I'm like, yeah, you're absolutely right. Guess whose job that is? It's not mine. It's the job of the laity to bring people to Christ, to bring them to the church. It's my job as a priest to bring all of the Catholics closer to Christ, to build up the church. It's the job of the laity to go out and bring, make new disciples, bringing them closer to Christ, to the church, so that eventually they become my responsibility. But as it stands, I don't know your neighbors. I will never interact with them. I don't know your family members. I don't know your sons, your grandsons, your daughters, your granddaughters. I don't know your, your siblings, but you do. You do. You have more connections just amongst the 30, 40 that are here than I do. So, I mean, just looking at logis- uh, logically, there's a better chance that you guys going out and just chit-chatting once in a while with people are going to bring more people to church than me when I happen to stop at Starbucks and grab a drink and chit-chat with one person. It's numbers. I mean, it is a numbers game, but it's also a, a theological thing. The church has always understood itself to be almost like an upside-down pyramid. So the Pope is at the bottom of the pyramid. Upside-down pyramid, right? So the Pope is at the bottom, and he's there to support all the bishops to care for them, to provide for them, to support them, pray for them spiritually. The bishops are there to like make sure the priests are good, and then the priests are there to kind of make sure that everyone else is here, here is good, the rest of the laity. And so it's a kind of an inverted pyramid. Pope takes care of the bishops, the bishops take care of the priests, priests take care of the people. It's kind of, I mean, obviously there's other things there too, but very, very simplified vision of the church. And so, uh, because there's, just in L.A., five million Catholic faithful in L.A. I mean, just strictly a numbers game. Got a better chance if we get all the laity involved, bringing people closer to Christ. The church does recognize that that's the job, not just of, of the laity, it's my job too, but there's a good chance that you guys will bring a lot more into the church than I ever will, just because of sheer numbers. But this is how we imitate the apostles and all the saints and follow after Christ. The apostles, as soon as Christ sent them on their way, they immediately went out and started bringing more people to him. So we can't be afraid of talking to our our neighbors, our our children, our grandchildren, mentioning, oh, hey, like, you want to go to Mass with me on Christmas or Easter or even random Sundays throughout the year. There's a goodness in that. I can't tell you how important it is for grandparents especially to be steadfast in the faith for their grandkids. Because if mom and dad don't practice, but they see grandma and grandpa always doing it, and they attend mass whenever they stay the night at grandma and grandpa's, whenever they visit, that sticks with them the rest of their lives. And it starts to plant those seeds. So don't be afraid of it. Don't be afraid of, of sharing Christ and bringing others to him.